Yes. The other term, we have isomers. You have to be very careful when talking about isomers. Isomers are the organic compound with the same molecular formula. With the same molecular formula. Means molecular formula is the same, but different structural formula. The molecular formula as we have seen is the same, but the structural formula is different. Example, this is, CH, this is C4H10. Means there are four carbon and 10 hydrogens. This is the molecular formula because it shows the type and number of the atoms in a molecule. But this can be different, can be written in different structural formula. One, it can be written, this is A, it is C. H3, C, H2, C, H2, C, H3. Means what? We have 10 hydrogen, this with 3 hydrogen. Why does it have 3 hydrogen instead of 4 hydrogen? Because there is one bond that is joined this carbon and this carbon. And here, there is one bond joining with this carbon and the other bond joining with this carbon. That's why we have written with two hydrogen. And here, this carbon is joined to this one and joined to this one. Therefore, one bond is occupied to this one and the second bond is occupied to this one. So we have left with two bonds. So as to complete the tetravalent properties of these elements, it is tetravalent properties of this element, we like this two. But why here we have written three? It is simple. Because only one bond is joined to this carbon, that's why it is written with three bonds. This is the first, the first structural formula. But this also can be written in this one. Three, then here it is this one, can be written in this one. And the other carbon may be written here. So this means that uh, this carbon is joined to this one. And this one joins to this one. And therefore, because this has got, has got only one bond, so it has left you with three of them. And here it is one bond, so we have three of them. But here, because we have one, two, three, then we have left with only one hydrogen. But here we have one bond here, so we have left with three hydrogen. When you count how many molecules, how many carbons are here, one, two, three, four. When you count how many hydrogens are here, here 3, 5, 3, 5, then we have 10. When you count here, 3, 3, 3, 9 plus 1, it is 10. Now carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So these have got 4 carbon and 10 hydrogen. These have got 4 carbon and 10 hydrogen. Means the structural, the structural formula is different, but it is molecular formula is the same. Now that is why we say Isomers are the compounds with comp organic compound with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. The structural formula is different, but it is molecular formula is the same. The second example here, we have C5 and H12. That is, we have C5, five of them, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Then, simply because this is joined to this one, this is joined to this one, then here we have three, then here we have two, then here we have two, then here we have two, then here we have three. Now, means that uh, this is joined to two carbon. Then, it is no longer having three. It is, it is now having two bonds joined together. To complete it is in property, we have to write two here. We have to write two here, we have to write two here. So this is simple. Just like you would have written CH3 then, CH2 then, CH2 then, CH1, 2, 3, then CH3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you count how many carbons are here, you find 1, 2, 3, that is 6 plus 6, it is fell off. Once you count how many carbons are there, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five carbons. Then this also can be written in different ways. 
you can take, you can pick this one, then you write in this one. C, then C, then C, then C. Four of them, and the less you write it here, CH3. Since now, we have this and this one. There is this and there is this one. Then, one, two, three, we have left with one hydrogen. Then we have this one, we have left with two hydrogen. Here we have three hydrogen, and here we have three hydrogen. Therefore, this is to complete the property of the, the, property of the carbon data. It has got it four valency. So this is three plus one, four. Here it is three plus one, four. Then one, two, one, two, three plus one, four. Then one, two plus two, four. Then three plus one, we have four. Because it is a tetravalent element. Now this is the first structural formula. This is the second structural formula. But with the same molecular formula. This also can be written in this way. We can write this one, this one, this one, then this one, this one, then see this one. Then this is, this is how we do it. Now, this is your lady has got four bonds. So we are not supposed to write anything here because it has been revoked by four bonds. So it is a complete property. Now, this is one, then we add here three. Therefore, here one, here we add three. Therefore, here one, we add three. Therefore, here one, we add three. Therefore, this is another structural formula, but it is the, have that the same molecular formula. Then if you count here, you have three, 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 three by four, we have fellow hydrogen. Then one, two, three, four, five, we have carbon. Now here, we have five carbon and fellow hydrogen. So by definition, isomers are the organic compounds with the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. As you may see here, we have written this one with different two structural formula. And we have written this one with three different structural formula. So the isomers increases as you increase the number of carbons. That is a point to remember. Once you increase the number of carbons, you are increasing the isomers. Koidakia carbon is a vongezeka, his structural formula is now ongezeka kuwa tofauti tofauti. Nikiongeza hapa zikawa sita, ulezo kajikuta structural formula ambao zinatengeneza tofauti zikawa niti konye. Kwa mfano hapa, five, five up carbons, utaona nimetengeneza isomers tatu. Lakini hile ye four carbons, nimetengeneza isomers mbili. Lakini ye ye three carbons, ulezo kajikuta haina isomers. Kwa hiyo, nabongeza carbon, ndivyo nabiongeza isomers. Now, in short, isomers increases as you increase the number of carbons. The other things, the other term here we, we will be discussing in organic chemistry, we just have general formula. The general formula is the loop. It's the general loop that can be used to calculate, to determine, to calculate the number of each types. As you can see here, we have written four carbon and ten hydrogen. Where are they coming from? They are coming from the general formula. We have written here five carbon with fellow hydrogen. Where are they coming from? They are coming from the general formula. So you won't have the molecular formula in the absence of the general formula. So the general formula is there to calculate how many carbons do we need. And the general formula is possible for every homologous series. For every family, for every family, have that it is unique formula, and we call it a general formula. For every family, and that is why each of us has a unique general formula. In the absence of this general formula, you cannot determine how many carbons are there, how many hydrogens are there, how many oxygens are there. So the general formula is the general loop, which is there to calculate or to determine the number of each type of atoms in a molecule. Example, this is an alkan, and we call it butane. Why is it a butane has got C4 and H10? Because of the general formula. And this is pentane. Why does pentane have C5 and H12? It is very simple because of the general formula. So the general formula is there to determine the number of carbon, the number of hydrogen, the number of oxygen, in short, 
is this a general rule that can be used to calculate the number of each type of atom in a molecule. Example, the general formula for alkanes. Alkan. It is it is Cn H two N plus two. This N indicates this N indicates the number of carbon. Indicates the number. What if now number of carbon is are six? Now you write here six because N indicates the number of carbon. If now N is equal to six means the number of carbon is are six. If number of carbon is are six means that you have to show by six here. Then here it is two by six. Then plus two. Two by six. It is now H. It is two times six plus two body mass. Therefore, this is now C6, then hydrogen 2 times 6 is 12, plus this one, hydrogen is now 14. Now, this is it, how you can write. The same applies. Now, number of hydrogens, number of carbons, carbon is equal now to 8. That is from CN, H2N plus 2. Very, very simple. Where there is the N, you put A. That is C8, then H it is 2 by 8 plus 2. Now, this is to say it is C8, H it is 16, then 18. This is how it is done. This is for alkane. But for alkenes, if I am talking about alkenes, alkenes, the general formula for alkenes, we have C N H 2 N. This is the general formula for alkene. Where there is N, you put it, where the number of carbon indicates by N. Now, for instance, if now you're talking about 3, therefore, you have to write here 3, then here H, 2, 2, 2 by 3. That is to say, now we have 3, 3, this one, it is now 6. But for alkene, this is alkenes, but for alkene, alkene you may see. For alkene, if now you're talking about carbons, we have three of them, means you have to use this formula. Now, you will be looking for a C3, then H, it is 2 times 3 plus, 2 times 3, 6 plus 2, it is 8. That is the difference between them. Now, when you look at this one and this one, there are quite different. And we are going to discuss about this one and this one. What is the difference between this and this one? We are going to go in detail. But now we are just looking for a general formula as a common term that is used in organic chemistry. Now we have seen what is an isomer, what we have seen, what is the general formula, and how it is applicable. We are going to be to see in detail. Now let us see the other term.